Well, to be honest, the very first outlap, it was a shock. Mm. <laughs> and I said, really? Is that what it feels like? It is a big thing for me. And, you know, first time out here in the IndyCar, you have some other guys around you. And I'm pretty sure uh, I upset Briscoe already because I wasn't quick enough moving out of the way. But, hey, that's the way it is. But after a few laps, I mean, I had just, you know, 10 laps in total. I, I kind of got a feeling what is it about and how you have to drive it different a little bit uh, than the LMP1 car. But on the other hand, it is not so much different. So uh, I think it's just, you know, me getting used to the car, understand the technique, what kind of changes I have to do to fit my driving style. And then I think it should be not so bad. From my experience, after a while you drive a certain amount a certain car you always tap yourself that you drive around the problems there a little bit and therefore it's always good to have a fresh driver in the car also sometimes you know in, in the LMS with the HP HPD uh, Klaus and I we find it interesting if we have a new driver coming in to give new feedback um, because it's you go in there open-minded and that's, uh, I think, what I did with, with this car now. And I could go on for hours, but I think the engineers are already, their ears are pleading, <laughs> so we stopped here for now. Uh, no, it's, it's for sure, you know, you have a lot of first new impressions. Um, you have a lot of things which is very important for me as a driver, and maybe Joseph, you know, is, is not used to that, or it's not so important for him so it's always good for a team and especially you know for for a team like uh, Sarah Fisher Hartman Racing which is a young still you know willing to learn and, and I don't say not experienced but not as experienced as some of the other teams so I think it's good to have a fresh pair of eyes giving you know some feedback and uh, I think I had plenty after this couple of laps <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have one corner, maybe turn one, because turn one is just awesome. You know, I remember it here with the GT car, and the thing is sliding and bouncing around, and this one is just, boom, you go through it. So, there, I mean, you know, flat is flat, what else do you want to do? But other than that, I have, everywhere I have things in my head where I say, okay, I need to do this here and this there, but, you know, one step after the other.